Hope fam, welcome back to the program. We're here next to the tank again. The last couple episodes were just really awesome. We had uh, Pastor Dwayne Cardenas come in, give a word about uh, Proverbs 20. Then, man, Pastor Terrence too. Both of them killed it. Both of them excellent episodes. So if you haven't seen that, go back and check them out. Um, Pastor Terrence also just uh, released something on uh, his channel link will be below for like if you're a parent and you're wondering the hows of parenting and like all that check him out it's a great experience he's a great man and i'm glad to call them family man and if you don't have that relationship with your pastor you need to start that man and if your pastor doesn't want a relationship like that i don't know you need to find one that does because they're supposed to equip you they're supposed to lead you. They're supposed to guide you, which I guess is the same as leading, but and hold you accountable. Uh, some men at my church got together with our pastors, and they want to start like a discipleship thing. And Pastor Dwayne had every man close their eyes. He said, "If you can't trust God." you might as well just go back to your car now so we all closed our eyes and, and one by one i don't know how he was doing it one by one two by twos he was having each man get up and he would walk him around to the sound of his voice then at the end he asked are you confident were you confident some people were saying yes some people were saying no some people were knew that he wouldn't lead us in a bad situation and that was on along the lines of that it's like i i know you i trust you i trust him as well i trust that god put you here to lead me effectively and man it was just a powerful ex exercise get in community people that is like if there's anything you could get out of anything I say it's one getting the word be in your community that's all you got that's all you got God doesn't want us doing this alone guys pound smash that like button if you like that quick word so we're going to get into Proverbs 23 when you sit down to eat with a ruler consider carefully what is before you and put a knife to your throat if you are a man given to appetite, do not desire his delicacies, for they are deceptive food. Do not overwork to be rich because of your own understanding. Cease. Will you set your eyes on that which is not? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward heaven. Do not eat bread of a miser, nor desire his delicacies. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, he says to you. But his heart is not with you. The morsel you have eaten up, you will vomit up. And waste your pleasant words. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool. For he will despise the wisdom of your words. Isn't that true? Do not remove the ancient landmark, nor the enter the fields of the fatherless. For their Redeemer is mighty. He will plead their cause against you. Apply your heart to instruction and your ears to words of knowledge. Do not withhold correction from a child. For if you beat him with a rod, he will not die. You shall beat him with a rod and deliver his soul from hell. My son, if your heart is wise, my heart will rejoice. Indeed, I myself, yes, my inmost being will rejoice when your lips speak right things. Do not let your heart envy sinners, but be zealous for the fear of the Lord all the day. For surely there, there is a hereafter, and your hope will not be cut off. Hear, my son, and be wise, and guide your heart in the way. Do not mix with wine bibbers or with gluttonous eaters of meat. Wine bibbers. 
For the drunkard and the glutton will come to poverty, and drowsiness will clothe a man with rags. Listen to your father who begot you, and do not despise your mother when she is old. Buy the truth and do not sell it. Also wisdom, instruction, and understanding. The father of the righteous will, re will greatly rejoice, and he who begets a wise child will delight in him. Let your father and your mother be glad, and let her who bore you rejoice. My son, give me your heart, and let your eyes observe my ways. For a harlot is a deep pit, and a seductress is a narrow well. She also lies in wait for a victim, and increases the unfaithful among men. Who has woe? Who has sorrow? Who has contentions? Who has complaints? Who has wounds without a cause? Who has redness of eyes? Those who linger long at the wine? Those who go in search of mixed wine? Do not look on the wine when it is red, when it sparkles in the cup, when it swirls around smoothly. At the last, at the last it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things. Your heart will utter perverse things. Yes, you will be like one who lies down in the midst of the sea, or like one who lies at the top of the mast, saying, They have struck me, but I was not hurt. They have beaten me, but I will not feel it. When shall I awake, that I may seek another drink? Man, verse 29 through 35 really spoke out to me a lot because I, uh, I had a bad drinking problem. And when I didn't have anything to drink, there was a problem. <laughs> when shall I awake that I may seek another drink? No, I... I was around a lot of day drinkers growing up. Um, it's the environment that I was raised in. And when I was drinking, and I'm reading this now, who has woe, who has sorrow, who has contentions, who has complaints, who has wounds without cause? Isn't that the truth? We, we, with me, I put the blame on everybody else. I was stubborn. I said, this is why I'm this way. This is why. It's not my fault. It's their fault. Why I'm like this. Why I'm like this. Do you know someone who's stuck in that uh, routine? It's hard when you try to help people like that. I was talking to this homeless guy uh, a while ago. And he said, Frank, you, you know why I'm homeless, right? I'm like, why, man? Because he can. He works. You know, he, 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 he can sustain himself. But he says, I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. I don't want people telling me what to do, how to live, da 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 He'd rather live on the streets. God doesn't want that for us, man. He doesn't want us to be stubborn. He doesn't want us to be stuck in our ways. He wants us stuck in his way. When we submit ourselves and are stuck in his way, blessings come. I didn't want to give up drinking. But I knew I had to if I wanted to be successful. But it wasn't until I knew that I had to give up drinking is when I wanted to give that up. I saw the blessing there. I saw a family. I saw my family. Drugs, too. Doesn't it seem, we, we seem like we seem to do a lot of this stuff to try to numb contentiousness or woe, or sorrows, open wounds without a cause, 
Open wounds without a cause. To me, it seems like that verse right there, as we play that blame game, you could be mad at someone and they don't even know why you're mad at them. My buddy's dad, he like, he would just blame me or his son for everything. He was just such in a bad spot drinking wise. There'd be times we'd have to lift him up off the bathroom floor and, you know, help him do his thing. Like, and he would still like hate and blame and everything. But we didn't, we didn't like cast him astray or anything. We loved on him. Cause he was, a, he was our dad. And he was like a father to me. He still is. It's tough. And if you're in a situation where you're drinking or doing drugs, man, like, you got to get clean. I'm a success story. When we're coming back from, when I was coming back from the little discipleship meeting, I burst out crying. Because I thought of that point where I was in my life. The lowest I've ever been. I thought of that. I've wronged so many people. I've wronged people I didn't even know. I've wronged my friends. The closest friends. People that cared about me. For what? That's my testimony. And I was sitting there thinking about who I used to be and where I am now. And that my pastors chose me to, to be a disciple. For just how they want to pour into me and not even just me, the rest of the men that they chose. Like, it's just, that's just such an honor. It's such a blessing. And I was, I was just burst into tears and I'm like, God, why me? Why me, God? If y'all know who I was, I didn't even want to do this YouTube channel. I didn't even want to do anything because of the shame I had of who I was. The shame I had of having people be like, this guy, Frank, what? He's doing what now? There's no way. What? But I overcame that because that's our testimony. That's my testimony. I overcame that. I'm even at the point where I might just get Facebook for the channel to help that grow. I've been so afraid of my past because of who I was and how much people probably hate me that I felt ashamed of where I'm going to be in the future. And if I want to progress this, I need to move forward. I need to propel. I need to get over what I've done in my past. And, you know, I seek forgiveness. If, if you're from my past, I seek forgiveness. And I know I've probably said sorry a thousand times and did the same stuff, but my testimony now proves that anyone can change anyone i don't care who it is anybody can seek god's grace through jesus christ alone that's it you can you can try many different things and i have i tried everything but that's the thing i tried I didn't submit myself and say, Jesus, work on me. Work on me, Father God. Oh, man. Sort of just let myself out there a little bit. 
and that's what we're about if i'm gonna do this and be a part of your lives and have you guys watch and listen to me i need to be vulnerable we need to be vulnerable with each other so guys help us out you are the hands and feet for the kingdom you are the workers and you are approved workers smash five stars if you're listening through podcasts leave a review excuse me if you're listening on youtube and watching on youtube uh like share subscribe please comment down below if you have prayer requests send the prayer requests in i love praying for people you got a prayer warrior on your hands and if it's a little personal email me at hope for tomorrow fl at gmail.com guys thanks again for joining in hey go phil's make or break game coming up let's get this done guys batter away hey keep looking up i'm frank warrington hope for tomorrow god bless